fractions. Subtracting different denominators. Mixed. We are going to subtract mixed fractions with different denominators. Now for this problem here, we should first subtract the whole numbers. So, in this problem, the whole numbers are 2 and 1. So let's do that now. 2 minus 1 equals 1. So let's cross them out because we're finished with those numbers. All right, so let's move on to the next part. So 2 over 3 and 5 over 10. So we need to come up with a common denominator for the 3 and the 10. So to do that, we must multiply them by each other. So 3 times 10 and 10 times 3. So as you know, that equals 30. So we can write 30 in both of these boxes here. Okay, if we multiply on the bottom, we need to multiply on the top. So 2 times 10 is 20, and 5 times 3 is 15. So we keep the 30 the same since it's our common denominator, so we just need to subtract 20 from 15, which we know equals 5. So now we have 5 over 30. Now, 5 over 30 can be reduced even further. So what do you think they're both divisible by? Okay, both these numbers can be divisible by 5. So 5 divided by 5 is 1, and 5 divided by 30 is 6. So we have 1 over 6. But remember the 1 over here. So our answer is 1 and 1 sixth. Okay, good job. I think we should try another problem now. Okay, we see 9 and 9 tenths minus 4 and 5 eighths. So let's subtract the whole numbers first. So 9 minus 4 is 5. We can write it right here already, 5. Okay, so let's cross them out and move on to the fraction part. So 9 over 10 and 5 over 8. So remember, to get a common denominator, we must multiply them by each other. So 10 times the 8 and 8 times the 10. And as I'm sure you know, that equals 80. Okay, so if we multiply on the bottom, we need to multiply on the top. So 9 times 8 and 5 times the 10. So 9 times 8, we know, equals 72. And 10 times 5 is 50. So remember, we keep 80 the same since it's our common denominator. So now we just have to subtract 72 from 50. So 72 minus 50 equals 22. But 22 over 80 can be reduced even further. So let's divide them by 2. 22 divided by 2 is 11, and 2 divided by 80 is 40. So, in total, our answer is 5 and 11 40ths. Alright, let's move on to a harder problem. Okay, this problem looks a little scary, and it's quite big, but We'll go through it step by step so that it makes sense to you. So we have 8 and 4 ninths minus 5 and 4 sixths. So we need to find a common denominator. So again, we're going to multiply them by each other. So 9 times 6 and 6 times 9. 
So we know that equals 54. And now we'll multiply on the top, just like we did with the other problems. So 4 times 6 and 4 times 9. So our common denominator is 54. And then 4 times 6 is 24. And 4 times 9 is 36. So now we have 24 over 54 minus 36 over 54. But as you can see, 24 is smaller than 36, so we would end up with a negative number, which we definitely do not want. So that's why this problem is so long. So let's work through that issue. So again, 8 and 24 over 54 minus 5 and 36 over 54. So let's take this 8 here. So let's write it again. 8, and then the arrow, so then we have, we'll take the 54, and we'll do 54 over 54, and we know that equals 1, so 8 minus 1 equals 7. So now we have 7 with 54 over 54, but we need to add the 24 over 54 to it to make it right. So we have 7, 54 as our denominator, and then 54 plus 24 equals 78. Okay, so now we can work more with this problem. We won't have a negative number anymore. Okay, so let's write it out again. So 7 was 78 over 54 minus 5 and 36 over 54. Okay, so let's subtract the whole numbers first. So 7 minus 5 equals 2. So let's cross them out since we're finished with them. Okay, so now we have to solve the rest of this problem. 78 over 54 and 36 over 54. So let's subtract those now. 78 minus 36 equals 42. So we have 42 over 54. But like the other problems, they could be reduced even f more. So what are these both divisible by? Right, these are both divisible by 6. So let's divide them now by 6. So that equals 7, and the bottom equals 9. So our answer to this problem is 2 and 7 ninths. Really good job solving this problem. So let's just do one more to make sure you understand. It might take a long time, but it will get faster as you learn. So for this problem, we see 7 and 2 tenths minus 1 and 6 sevenths. So let's first do the fraction part. So 2 over 10 minus 6 over 7. So let's make a common denominator. So 10 times 7 and 7 times 10 equals 70 and we have to multiply on the top as well so 2 times 7 is 14 and 6 times 10 is 60 okay as you can see 14 is smaller than 60 so this would equal a negative number which we do not want so this is why we have to fix this problem so let's write it out again 7 and 14 over 70 minus 1 and 60 over 70. Okay, so let's take the 7 and then do 70 over 70, which equals 1. So we need to subtract 1 from 7, and that's 6. So now we have to add the other fraction to the 70 over 70. So 70 over 70 plus 14 over 70.
All right. So now we have six. Keep the denominator the same. And we have 84. So six and then 84 over 70. Okay, so now we can really work with this problem and we won't get a negative number. Okay, so now we need to subtract them. But first, let's work with the whole numbers. So 6 minus 1 equals 5. So now we can just work with the fractions. And we're almost done with this problem. Okay, so let's figure out what the fraction part is. So 84 over 70 minus 60 over 70. So the denominator stays the same. 84 minus 60 equals 24. But these are do both to be divided even more. Okay, so what number might that be? So these are both divisible by 2. Okay, so 2 divided by 24 and 2 divided by 70. So we get 12 over 35. So our answer is 5 and 12 35ths. Really great work solving these fractions, and good luck solving your next.